On this episode of Air Arms TV, I'm out night hunting in the Bedford area of the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Tonight I'm planning on taking a few scrub hairs for the pot while keeping an eye out for some hole digging spring hairs which are causing havoc in the fields. This time on Air Arms TV, I'm out in the Bedford area of the Eastern Cape of South Africa. It's late September and I'm planning on taking a couple scrub hairs for the pot with my trusty S510 Ultimate Sporter XS in .22 caliber, plenty of oomph to get the job done. I'll also be keeping an eye out for those hole digging pesky spring hairs. And let me tell you without a doubt, this is one of my favorite kinds of hunting to be out here in the pitch black under the starlight. Awesome. Let's get out there, see if we can get some hairs. Just have a look. All right. Just quickly stop and do some scanning here. The scrub hair is native to South Africa. They can grow up to four and a half kilograms and live up to five years in the wild. When in danger, they run away in a zigzag fashion and can reach speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. There's some miles. That's a scrub hair. All right, he's very relaxed. But we've got about 20 yards to make up. Okay, let's go, let's go. This night sight infrared technology really gives me the edge. I still have to be as quiet as possible. I don't want to give myself away. Right. There we go. He's feeding. He's feeding. That's it. Yes. Straight down. First rabbit of the night. Oh, that was awesome, man. I thought we were going to lose him. He kept going in and out. He ended up just stopping long enough. It looked like he was grazing. Straight down. Let's go get him. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Oh, nice. Nice scrubby. Look at that. Big, fat scrubby. Man, that is an awesome way to start the hunt. I tell you tonight's going to be great hunting. It's just beautiful out here. The winds dip down. The stars are out. We're in the pitch black. Man, I'm super pumped about hunting tonight. Wow, that is super cool. This is going to be such good eating. But uh, let's not take too much time. Let's keep going. It's super exciting hunting in the pitch black dark like this. You just never know what's going to be around the next corner. All right, it's nice and open here. It's just a little bit of shrub at the back. Let's have a look here. Check out the eyes there. Oh, the, the antelope, how cool is that? Oh, they look like fellow deer. We're about 60 yards from them. Yo, this is cool, eh? Oh, and in the daytime, they would have run. Got the heck out of Dodge. That is cool, eh? All right. Let's move a little bit to the right here. Let's go. This area has so many of these hairs that I doubt I'll be able to get all of them tonight. Especially hunting by night sight like this. But even if I can get just a couple, I know I'll have some good meat for the pot. Oh, it's getting a bit thicker here, eh? There's a lot more shrubs and grass here. Come on, let's move a little bit. Oh, looks like there's something there, hang on. Yo, he's just come out the grass. 
and not scrubby. Let's get a little bit closer. Come. All right. Okay, let's try and take the shot. He looks a little bit far, but I'm scared he's gonna run off. So let's just make the shot. Oh. <laughs> just under. Oh man. Oh. I was on him, but oh, I'm starting to get a little tired of my crosshairs. I just got my timing wrong. Oh, well, you don't get them all, eh? Let's keep going. You can't get them all, but still, you've just got to try. Anyway, I'm on to the next field, and let's see what we can find there. My goodness, look at all the holes here. Look at this hole. Whew. You see, this is exactly why the farmer wants us to take out a whole lot of these spring hairs tonight. There are holes and they run deep in. And there's a lot of livestock here. There's sheep, goats, and cattle. So, you know, and there's holes. If you look here, you can see there's holes all over this felt here. So, man, we've got to see if we can take down some of these numbers and uh, help the farmer out. If you look here, look how deep this runs all the way in yes it runs a long way in you can't even see the other side wow so this is exactly why the farmers asked us to take out a whole bunch of the spring hairs here they're a burrowing animal and they make these deep holes which are real hazardous to the stock on the farm so hopefully we can get a couple down tonight let's keep hunting let's do it Spring hairs resemble a small kangaroo that can leap up to two meters. I really hope to see a few of these animals tonight, so I can do the farmer a favor and take a couple of them out. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's pretty open. All right, just another 10 yards. Yeah, he's, he's getting close. Let's take him here. I'll we'll take him sitting down. Just find him quick. Yeah, there he is. You know, it's so hard to judge distance. Yeah, in the pitch black. The only way that I can judge distance is the size of the animal in the scope. I leave it on the same power to make sure that I have a good size reference. And the only way that you can figure that out is by seeing a one or two animals first and understanding at what size that animal must be when it's shooting distance. And every single one of these down counts. So these guys are really, have asked us, you know, take them, so whew, let's go check them out. All right, there he is, look at that. Yo, he looks big, eh? Yo, that's a nice one. Yo, that is a big spring hair. Fantastic, man. Yo, that can be big, eh? Look at that shot. Yeah, there we go. Right on the top of the head. Very cool, man. I'm very stoked I got him. You know, the, this species is causing absolute havoc on this farm. There are holes everywhere. And uh, to be able to take their numbers down is exactly what the farm is asking. So, job done. Very cool. Let's keep hunting. It's getting late now, but I really can't help myself but try to get one more hair. It's late season towards the end of September, and it's my last chance to get this tasty meat I really want to make a feast for my family. It's a scrubby, really nice scrubby. Okay, we're a little bit too far out. Need to get about 30 yards, let's go. Come. Just by this bush here. I'm gonna take him sitting down here. Let's go. Man, what a nice hunt. 
we have seen scrubbies, spring airs. Oh man, this has been awesome. And to get a big one like that, it's exactly what you're looking for. Let's go check them out. Let's go. There we go. There he is. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, that must be the biggest one of the evening. What a way to end tonight's hunting. Man, we have had an absolute ball out here. Under the stars. Beautiful, beautiful weather here. And I tell you, look at that as an end result to the hunt. Wow. I tell you, this one has a whole lot of meat on him. That is awesome. And he's gonna be some really good table fare a few weeks from now at the family dinner. So what a great hunt we've had right from the get-go to find a hare and be able to stalk 30 yards from him. What a fantastic night's hunting. And to end with a beautiful big scrub hair like this. Well, you couldn't ask for anything more. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on AOMS TV.